Here with the head coach of the Lady Flames field hockey team, Jody Murphy, as we wrap things up from the 2016 season. And, uh, Coach, you've had a few weeks now to kind of take everything in, assess things. Uh, when you look back at this season, certainly a very tough schedule. First year in the Big East. What do you take away from this year? Um, well, we take away uh, the fact that we did make the Big East tournament, which was our goal, and then to make the championship game. Was it was a huge task for this group, and um, you know couldn't be more pleased with the way that we went into that game uh, to to play in that final against UConn um, is exactly where we wanted to be. Uh, we we didn't get the win, and and certainly that was a disappointment. Um, we had every intention of trying to win the Big East championship, but you know what we were able to accomplish in our first year in in the conference was um, it was great. You know we had ten newcomers to this team. And I thought our three seniors did a great job kind of setting the tone for the future of the Big East and that the standard from here forward is that we're competing for that title year in and year out. At eight wins this year, and of your 18 games that you played, I think 10 of them were against ranked opponents. Uh, I'm sure some of that was by design. You wanted to kind of see where your team was. But having gone through those games, some of them very close losses, could have gone either way. What do you take going into next year to to know now what, what you need to get over that hump? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think scheduling is always going to be something that, you know, we champion in terms of our strength of schedule. We, we, we again, finished in the top 10 for the strength of schedule, and, and I just see great value in it. Um, you know, we weren't able to get uh, the, the top 10 win that we wanted when we sought sought out the schedule, but uh, we were really close this season. And again, hate to talk about the youth of the program, but for those young players to experience um, those big games and uh, be, be really close to knocking off, you know, Syracuse, knocking off UConn almost in the final, you know, Duke, UNC, the list can go on. It, it, there's a lot of, I just see a lot of value in that. And I think that we are closing the window and um, we're having more and more opportunity before us to learn um, to learn different things that we probably wouldn't see if we were playing kind of the lower lower echelon of teams, so to speak. Um, so there's still a ton of gain, uh, and and we are looking, you know, into next year's schedule, and, and it'll be it'll be similar in, in the sense that uh, we we love playing the the powerhouse kind of ACC programs that are right around right in our neighborhood, and getting them to believe early on at a young age that they can play with those teams has certainly got to be valuable as well. You yeah. beat a 20th ranked American team this year also, mm -hmm. so good confidence going forward there. Five all Big East selections, three of them first teamers. Tell us a little bit about uh, those young ladies and what they meant. Oh, it was so great to have the, the conference honor those players um, with Bethany and Serena and Aggie, Abby and Allison all getting recognition. Um, it, it just goes to show, um, I think, the level of respect that those players garnered in their first year competing in the Big East. Um, and then just even on a national level with Aggie and Beth and Serena all making the region squad. Um, just couldn't be more excited. I mean, those are five girls that have really um, shown themselves this season and uh, have stepped up in big moments uh, and have been kind of your, your game-changing players. So, um, of course, for us, it's all about the team, but and we, we take great pride if with the five of them getting the, the award, I think more than anything, it's the team saying, hey, we helped really get them in that position and push them every day to be the best that they could be. So it's a team honor. As you look ahead to next year with personnel, everyone a year older now, uh, how excited are you for the potential? Yeah, I'm so excited. I mean, Bethany and Serena will, and Carrie will all be um, difficult shoes to fill. Um, but, you know, looking at our starting lineup and, and having just to replace two starters is, is wildly different from last year when we lost 11 seniors. Um, so, again, you know, the experience that the freshman class garnered this year with five newcomers starting is really exciting. And they, again, were in big game moments. Um, so they'll be well veteran players by their sophomore season, a lot of them. And lastly, here as you look ahead, uh, do you draw any parallels to the Big East like you did in the NORPAC, uh, you know, a, a conference that you're able to be very competitive in early on, but you're competing with Stanford, it seemed like, every year for the championship there. Now it's UConn. Do you draw any kind of parallels there? Yeah, I mean, UConn is a phenomenal program. Nancy and her staff have done just such a great job growing that program over the years. And the history and the legacy that um, that UConn has is something that, you know, 
a, a newer program like Liberty really, really respects. And, and I think for us, um, that's a that's a competition, that's an opponent alongside of many of the other Big East schools that um, we really, you know, we want to create a great rivalry, rivalry with. And, um, you know, yeah, UConn just is, it's been neat to finally get the opportunity to play them. Um, and, and certainly we, you know, we want to be vying for a championship every year. And, uh, and, and I think that they know that, and I think it's going to become a really nice, um, a really nice challenge. Looking forward to seeing it unfold. Coach, appreciate the time. Thank you so much. As the head coach of the Lady Flames field hockey team, Jody Murphy, and my name is Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.